Meow. Hi, it's Penny Bowden, crazy cat artist here. And I just love the look on this kitty's face. And I just wanted to capture that. And this kitty's a little bit windblown looking too. Obviously laying on a roof or something. And I wanted to catch that kind of windblown look in kitty's fur. Going three times the speed on voicing over here. So now I'm going to start to darken up the lines that I like. Get some lines in there to help me place the eyes. And those lovely paws. I love drawing paws. Toe beans. I'm going to line those eyes up nice so they look natural. And a little nosy. And I want to keep that kind of smug look, that sort of straight across mouth. Didn't quite get it there. We'll do it again. I like that. Yeah. Muck that up, we'll fix it. If we line the eyes well, they really pop out nice. That's better. I like that little smug look. There's a bit of that windblown look. Let's try again. There we go. I do love to hear from you, so please do drop me a comment. Tell me about yourself or your cat or what you want to learn about cat drawing or where you live in the world or whatever. I just love to hear from you. I like that windblown look that I've captured. I want to remember that less is more. If I add too many details, it takes away from that simple gesture drawing look, which I love. And also if I try to correct things and make them look perfect, that takes away from the character and soul too. The expression. I just like to let my cats be what they become. I use my eraser quite often just for toning things down a bit, not actually for erasing them. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.